As we continue our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, we take an in-depth look at the life of an Afro-Cuban woman who was instrumental in helping Cuban liberator Jose Marti. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Anthony Hill spoke with two historians about the legacy Paulina Pedrozo left behind in Tampa and in Cuba. Marti treated her like a mother in the sense that he, that she was very protective of him and he appreciated that. She's known as the black mother of Cuban independence leader Jose Marti, an Afro-Cubana who moved to Ybor City in 1892 by way of Key West. So many Cubans went to Key West. Key West was the, the sort of the haven of the revolutionists from 1868 on. This is the story of Paulina Pedroso. When Paulina and her husband came to Tampa, they had saved up enough money to buy land in Ybor City and built a boarding house. There was a huge demand for boarding houses in, uh, in Ybor City because there were many single men who were cigar workers. This is where Paulina's house used to be. It was knocked down in the 1950s and is now the Jose Marti Park. Marti would often come to Tampa and on one of his trips here, there was an assassination attempt when two Spaniards poisoned his wine. A doctor was called and he was taken to the boarding house and there he was ministered to and therefore she, Paulina became his nurse and his defender. What they decided was that uh, Marti was not safe in a, a public hotel. In order to avoid future dangers of that sort, he stayed at their boarding house. Marti grew fond of Paulina. He would go out and uh, with Paulina Pedroso and walk up and down the avenues of Ybor City with her, with, with her arm, you know. And this was part of the, do you see what that guy's doing? And uh, this was a common sight, obviously. So uh, this was a way of him performing this racial unity and, and, uh, and he did that with her. Marti wanted to unite all Cubans, regardless of race. There was a lot of pressure on white Cubans to uh, to distance themselves from black Cubans. He believed in a free and independent Cuba, and Paulina was instrumental in helping Marti raise money in Tampa to fund the war of independence in Cuba. She would exhort uh, the workers, come on, <laughs> you know, pony up, we gotta do this. After living in Ybor City for 18 years and contributing to this community, she decided to move back to Cuba. She was going blind, she was very ill, and so she went home. Uh, which was common for people to go home, and uh, she basically wanted to die on her home soil. Paulina carried around an autograph photograph of Marti. The one thing that she requested for when she died was that she be buried with that photograph in her casket. She died a poor woman in Cuba in 1925. Paulina Pedroso was inducted into the Florida Women's Hall of Fame in 1993, and her legacy as a leader working for the greater good of the community still lives on. In Ybor City, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.